current situation. Lights flashing in the background so you can't see me. There I am. Where's the little girl? Where's the little Thai girl? There she is. Hello, little Thai girl. Um, and we're like inches above the beach. I guess we're on little beanbag cushions from the 70s. That's a bonfire. I think that happens later. There's the beach. We're still in Pukwok. Uh, Pukok. However you want to say it. P-H-U-Q-U-O-C. Um, we're at a little waterfront restaurant. A couple doors down from our hotel. We went on a tour of three islands today. Similar to what we did in Kochang. We're and I, uh, of course, did a video uh, for Great White Buddha on that. Uh, I'm going to start uploading it when I get back to the hotel tonight. I'm actually running out of room on my new phone because I transferred over a lot of videos and pictures from my old phone. So, um, we had uh, distilled water in a can because our super nice waitress from Chile. Hello. Oh, hello. Hola, hola. hola. No sé qué le digo. <laughs> Chai. Yes, I see. <laughs> she uh, told us that there's a happy hour at 7 p.m. We got here about 6.20. So we, we uh, had still water in a can. A can right there. Looks like beer, but it's still water. Um, for 40 minutes and had some sun axe. The girl had uh, squid, and I had um, prawn, uh, crispy spring rolls. And it's important you say crispy in Vietnam because, uh, as far as I know, they invented, or they're definitely one of the, the people who do, um, the rice paper that's kind of, I wouldn't say it's uncooked, it, it'd be raw, but it's not crunchy, it's not deep fried. They do like the steamed rice paper spring roll. That's Vietnam, if you've ever had those. They're really good. Uh, and they do have those here, but I went for the crispy. <laughs> Imagine that, me going for the deep fry. Damn. Uh, why I used to weigh 300 pounds. Anyway, uh, I got uh, crispy prawn spring rolls, which were delicious. The girl's still working on her squid. And then I got the bun me. I know what you're saying. Like, dude, you've been in town three or four days. You've had like 25 Bon Mies. All right, not really, but I get you. I feel you. I understand. It, like, the rest of the menu was pizza, burgers, pasta. And I was like, no, dude, I'm not, I'm not going to eat a burger in Vietnam or pasta. Although I am planning on hitting the, um, there's a Mexican place here. And I want to see... Um, how it tastes, you know, because American Mexican, as you know, uh, Pedro, is not real Mexican food, but I love it. I, I grew up eating American version of Mexican food, and a lot of people did. Uh, even Tex-Mex isn't really Mexican, but it's closer uh, to real Mexican than the, the other, you know, what you get, <laughs> certainly what you get at Taco Bell. Um, but when I was in uh, San Diego in the 80s, there was some legit place run by people who had not <laughs> crossed the border long before. Uh, one of my favorites was a place called Roberto's. Husband and wife team, uh, big old plate of rice and beans, plus whatever your burrito, taco, whatever enchilada was. And um, it was good. It was legit. It was uh, in Imperial Beach, California, north of the border. I don't know. God, I had to spend so long, 20, 20 miles, 10 miles, I honestly don't remember. Uh, so, anywho, um, I got a chicken on me. If it was that, or vegetarian. I absolutely would have gone for the pork uh, if they had it, but it was chicken or vegetable. I'll, I'll take a chomp out of that and let you know what's up. But cool little restaurant with the bean bag shows. A bonfire at some point. Uh, the waitress is super cool. I guess that she told us about the happy hour. Said so might as well just wait a half an hour. We did. The girl, oh yeah, happy hour. And the girl got two. One, two, those are both for her. Uh, margaritas. 
So she's gonna be down in both of those in the next hour. And then we're gonna head back to the hotel where I'll start uploading all these friggin' videos I've been making. I got six or seven videos um, already, uh, you know, on the phone, just not uploaded. I haven't uploaded any of the YouTube since I've been here in Vietnam. So I'll, let me chop on this uh, banh mi, tell you how it is, and then uh, we'll, we'll call it a wrap uh, for tonight. I uh, don't know the name of this place, otherwise I'd pump it up. Um, our hotel is called the Coral Bay Resort. And this is literally two doors down from it. So it's easy enough to... The restaurant with the bean bags on the beach, two doors down from Coral Bay Resort. I, I'll, I'll get the name before we leave. And uh, I'll put it on the... When I, when I upload the video, I'll put it as the location. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it actually looks like a taco. It's soft. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, come to... Okay, so banh mi is um, Vietnamese for bread. And I tell you, all the banh mi's I've had so far have been crispy French bread, baguette, which is delicious. This is banh bao. So it's a soft, steamed bao bun. And instead of red pork or barbecue pork in the center, it's got the chicken. Really good. Cilantro. Speaking of Mexican, cilantro. Crossover. Asian. Mexican food ingredient. It's really good. 